December the 27th, 2017. This is Chef Fabio76 coming at you. Um, you look at the Drudge Report here with the live chill map. With a little link right here. Click on it. And it will pull up. Come on. There we go. <laughs> um, current live temperature map of the country. Over 75% of the country right now is uh, at or below freezing. Um, and you can see if you go on the if you go on that link, really or the cold is really all upper here, middle, lower parts of the country. Only just a couple parts of Texas, southern western California, and Florida, and a few spots in the you know down in South Carolina. But that's about it. Um, so it's just a big Arctic push coming through. So you know you look at some of the headlines on here. Record 36 below in Minnesota, 30 degrees no below normal than last year, Arctic blast from Canada, you know, Erie, Pennsylvania, five feet of snow, National Guard mobilized. So, a lot of information there. Um, BP Earthwatch did a good job explaining about the solar minimum and what could happen with a eventually polar minimum, um, with that, if that ever were to happen. But um, we definitely have a large Arctic blast that's hitting the country that's going to go into next week. So kind of what are you doing to prepare and make yourself ready and I'll explain to you like what I've got going on um, with what's going on here so hold on one second okay so I've got some you know line that runs from the dishwasher here and I got pipes underneath the sink downstairs bathroom and upstairs bathroom I just leave these open for a couple hours just to get some of the pipes exposed to the heat from the furnace and there's a set of pipes that are way back there sorry about the mess <laughs> just a good thing to do uh, to keep those pipes warm and uh, I'll kind of explain what uh, I got going on in the uh, for alternative heat source, so hold on one sec, we'll go in the uh, basement. Alright, so here we are in the basement. Yep, I do have a furnace. Um, I am connected to the grid still, which is, you know, at this point I don't have a choice, but this is what I have. Um, I upgraded this furnace five years ago. Um, so, you know, it's a brand new furnace, and we maintain it and service it, and I change the filter monthly and do regular calls every two years on it, but... Uh, we got into a situation last year where the grid went down and we had a power failure in our, in our area where a transformer blew um, and we had no power for over, over 36 hours um, and I wasn't prepared to deal with heating the home. I never thought about that. You know what to do to heat your pipes in the basement because I have a basement and heat your home. So it was very frustrating um, to deal with that. I was prepared on every other aspect of it, food, water, you know, alternative power source, but didn't have means to keep the house warm you know, in the event that there's a, a large power outage. And I think a power outage, whether it's short-term or long-term in the winter months, is far worse, I think we all can agree, than a summertime. Summertime, it could be uncomfortable, it'd be hot, and you'd be sticky and muggy, but, you know, and you might have to worry about keeping your refrigerator, you know, with an alternative power source. But this was, uh, I think the wintertime is a lot worse, you know, because the, the house can get cold pretty quick, and what you did, it, it dropped down into the low 50s and the high 40s and I was concerned because I'm like okay we didn't really have anything to keep our pipes you know I ran water and stuff like that which we were okay but let me show you what I did so let's come over here so I decided to get one of two um, alternative heating sources this is one of the ones I'll show you this is the Mr. Buddy portable heater and this is a 4,000 to 9,000 BTU it runs on those uh, one pound cylinder propane containers and you can also buy which I did an extension which is a hose assembly and it this will link into your larger you know uh, propane you know uh, containers that you could, you could use for barbecue grilling which are what I don't forgot what size they are <clears throat> five ten pounders the ones that you guys use in your barbecue grills so which is why I did that I mean I have some of those but I also bought that for that same reason so um, you know this is safe it's indoor it's it's ready to use ready to go um, and just to show you, I haven't used it yet. I probably should have, but I bought it last year from Dick Sporting Goods. And I bought it on, um, it's hard to see the date there, I apologize. Jan Sorry about that. I'm trying to do this here. Oh, I apologize. It's um, January 7th, so it's been about a year. I'm sorry about that. Um, so this was one thing I did. This This will be good for you know upstairs keeping us warm um and i also have a second way thing i did for alternative heat source as well which i'll do a separate video on that one but yeah this is this is something i definitely needed to do and this can hook like i say up to the um your outdoor propane containers with the extension um 
and uh, I needed to do that because just there was just not enough, you know, things that we needed to do with it. So, um, but yeah, so let me know what you think. Um, you know, having blankets, I think are very important. Extra blankets, wool blankets, extra clothes, long johns, socks, wool socks, all those things are great. Besides all the stuff we talk about with food, water, and all that other stuff, but I think we all can agree that um, being prepared for a you know, power emergency, power grid failure, SHDF, no matter what it is, um, wintertime is a, is a far lot worse than would be in the summer, you know, um, just because of the cold. And, and if you think about it from the perspective of uh, people, people will die a lot faster in the winter months than they would in the summertime. Um, people would, 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 would freeze to death pretty quick if they don't have any type of alternative heating sources, so... But yeah, so hope you guys like that. Um, I uh, don't have a wood stove. I don't have a pellet stove. My next home, I want to have one of the, one of the two, on top of what I showed you there. Um, but I just don't have the means now from where I live. So this is what I decided to do, and it um, it, it definitely is something to have. And you know, let me know what you guys are doing, what your what your thoughts are. Um, but we can definitely agree that having a plan is very important and uh, preparing especially these winter months they're talking into next week it's going to be really cold in the in the zero to below temperatures so you know think about all the people that work outside kids going to school you have animals you have pets the homeless you know it just it goes on and on so that's just everyday stuff so we just have to make sure we're taking care of ourselves on a daily routine but also on a um, level uh, that we're preparing ourselves for um, you know in situations if the power grid were to fail or we had a power outage. So we had 36 hours last year. It was a blown transformer. So I had everything but that. Um, so I learned, lesson learned, and I think that's it's fine to do that. It's okay to learn from your mistakes. It's, you know, it's fine. But uh, let me know what you think. Um, hit the like or subscribe channel below. Let me know. Leave your comments. And I uh, just want everyone to be safe out there, with, especially with the cold weather. Um, it's very important. Um, just to be safe and uh, tell your loved ones you love them. God bless America, and you know we'll catch you in the next video. So, all right, Chef Fabio, seventy six, signing off on this very cold December twenty seventh, twenty seventeen. Alternative heat source.